Now, from the previous examples, you, you probably noticed something, which is kind of nice if you add to the list of derivatives that you know. So, first thing that you, you may have noticed is that if you differentiate e to the 2x, because 2x is pulled outside, and you get to differentiate, you end up with 2 times the e to the 2x. Okay? And this, this form appears frequently enough that you probably want to memorize it like this. e to the ax prime gives you um, a times e to the ax. That, that's the formula. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm giving you all these formulas to remember. Uh, the best way to remember it, these is through, through lots of practice, okay? Uh, it, it's not good to just stare at this for 10 minutes trying to remember everything. Rather, what's nice is to try to remember this, uh, look at it for like five minutes, and, and just be aware there are some certain formulas. And then when you solve questions, you want to try to write down the derivative without having to look at it. And then at some point, uh, it just naturally comes to you. Okay, that, so that's that's the better way. Okay, so even though I'm providing you this as an extra item on the list, I don't mean to make this a, as a, something mandatory to memorize. But just be aware, such such a formula exists, and next time you see it, just just be aware of this, and at some point, this becomes very natural. Okay. Uh, similarly, uh, if you have sine a of x, sine differentiates to cosine, right? but then ax, you have to pull it outside and differentiate, so a comes outside. Right? Sine ax prime is a cosine a. And also cosine ax prime gives you negative a sine ax. Same thing. Cosine ax prime negative a sine ax. So in summary, what happens is that if you have a derivative like this, uh, you should just quickly realize, oh, this here's an inside function, 3x. When I differentiate that, 3 will pop up. Therefore, I'll have a 3 as a coefficient. That's the way you should think, okay? Rather than uh, trying to memorize these uh, as it is, it's better to uh, think this way. And at some point, these just become very natural, okay? All right, so let, let's try to solve more questions with product rule, chain rule, and quotient rule. Um, number one, I'll show you some, some other examples. So suppose you have uh, x cubed e to the 4x sine 3x prime. So here, here's a product of two, three things. Now when you differentiate product of three things, you can apply the product rule in two steps. So uh, one possible way is, uh, don't write this down, I'm just, I just want to sketch uh, this possibility. Uh, one possible way is to think of this as a product of the first one and these two. So this differentiates, and then e to the 4x times sine at 3x, and plus x cubed times e to the 4x times sine 3x. And when you differentiate the second one, you have to use the product rule again, and that this thing becomes e to the 4x prime sine 3x plus e to the 4x times sine 3x. 
front. Right? So, so that, that's the proper way to do this using the product rule, but <clears throat> once you multiply the x cubed inside uh, and, and stare at what you get, uh, you realize what happened was basically all of these products, individual, uh, individual, individual functions inside the products got differentiated once. In other words, when you have uh, more than two things multiplied, the product rule in, in generic form is differentiate the first one, <coughs> leave this, the other ones, and differentiate the second one, leave the other ones, differentiate the third one, and leave leave the other ones. So it's like a target practice where you have three three objects and you have to just do bang bang bang, right? yeah. just like that. Um, and uh, another thing about derivatives is that uh, if you're differentiating something, no part is left untouched. Okay, uh, or well, another way to say it is uh, no stone is left unturned. Okay, so at, at some point each individual functions should be differentiated. Okay, okay so let's, let's continue. This is uh, 3x squared e to the 4x sine 3x. Uh, this one, well, what's the derivative of this? 4 e to the 4x, right? So if you differentiate 4x, it's 4, so that comes in front. How about this? 3 cosine 3x. Three so I, I want to put the numbers in front. 3 cosine 3x. Okay? That's how it goes. Uh, 